at Sunnybrook, we have um, been involved for about a year and a half on the surgical site infection, how to reduce surgical site infection. Uh, we've been very concerned with infection rate uh, for many years, but those initiatives are very hard to start on your own. And uh, Safer Healthcare gave us the opportunity to, uh, to follow a framework, and this is a national initiative that gave us the uh, incentive to go ahead and work for, uh, to improve our patient's outcome. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Bye. The experience that we had developed in uh, cardiac surgery, we're probably down by about 35% in our incidence of infection. When Claude came to me almost a year ago and started talking about the surgical site infection, it's not something that you can just say, I'm not interested in doing. If you have one infection, one inf wound infection, and you can prevent that, then you need to look into that. I think it's really important to empower the staff to start thinking about patient safety, um, empower them to um, take the lead in this kind of activity. And also, I mean, one of the really important pieces is to build that culture where staff feel comfortable coming forward with issues. I mean, that's, that's such a major hurdle to get to the point where people are comfortable and confident that they can talk to you about an error they were involved in, give you what you need to be able to fix the system without feeling that somehow they're going to be made to pay for it. At the beginning you feel quite isolated. You feel that you're on your own and as an anesthesiologist uh, I was told from my community that uh, infection is not the role of the anesthesiologist. It's uh, the surgeon's uh, responsibility. Then when you start to talk to Sherry, for example, who shares another perspective, then we, we, we found that we could work together and maybe start to achieve something. So, but right at the beginning, we, if we were stopped by isolation, we wouldn't go anywhere. We're still building our team, we're adding new members, we're finding out new key stakeholders that need to be involved in the process, and that's okay. Bringing them along, give them the history, um, personal contact, and talking to them about what we're trying to do, and making them feel important, that they're really important for the process to go forward. We'll use the uh, force air blanket. The investment that we have to make is very minimal compared to the money we can save as an infection in cardiac is known to cost between thirty and forty thousand dollars per patient uh, and this is not counting the human cost and all the, the resources you devote to this patient with a complication you don't have these resources to treat other patient so what we want to do is to invest a little bit of money to prevent these and then being able to treat lots of patients with the same budget at the end of the day